Welcome back guys to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, where last episode we defeated the bipedal eater ending the threat in Asakusa, but not soon enough for those that came under attack with a few people having succumbed to Eden Syndrome. After another meeting with Suedo, Arata starts planning to sneak into Kamishiro ending the chapter and sending us back to the whiteboard as we dealt with yet more abusive hackers in Suzuki and Sakamiya for dealing with a rogue Digipedia page vandal turning out to be a Kanzai dialect using Tentamon. It's now time to check out another case. A new case has been added. Clyde, the Occult Research Club's May. Broadway is the place. Have you heard of Super Ultra True Puppets? We ply our trade there. We ply our trade there. Oh, what, what, what? Living doll, dead person. What a great name for that quest. Detective Kuremi, you have to help us. You have to help us, please. May hey, come down. I'm sure she'll help us. Hey, what's going on? What's wrong? Given that this is business from the Occult Club, I take it we've got another supernatural case on our hands? Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, probably. I don't think this has anything to do with the Occult this time. Oh, then why all the big fuss? Well, there are apparently these dolls being sold on the internet that look just like me and May. I think those dolls are called Super Hyper Ultra Lookalikes or something like that. You must be referring to the Super Ultra True Puppets. I've heard rumors about them. All right, tell me more. These dolls, their faces, their bodies, everything from top to bottom looks just like us. They're so accurate, it's creepy. And to make matters worse, they're being sold real cheap. You think they could go for at least a little more money on the market? Oh god, insult to injury. Uh, that's not really the problem here. You get that, right? But it still sucks. It makes me feel like they see me as some kind of cheap piece of junk. I mean, I find it weird too. That your doll costs several thousand yen more than mine, but... <laughs> Wait, so you do care about the prices after? I said it's not important. Anyway, these dolls that look just like us are being bought by Ataku all over the place. And when I think about what these guys are probably doing with, uh, to them, it just really creeps me out. Uh, you know, this reminds me of another incident. I wonder if this is connected to that. Interesting fact, in China, they're really big business. Because, of course, the amount of, uh, because they're one child policy and all that. So there's a lot of lonely men. A lot. I wonder if this is connected to that. <laughs> what kind of incident? There's a real, really dicey looking service out there that's called the Perfect Girl Project. You can use it to get a living doll made in the image of your ideal girl and live the life you've always dreamed of. But the police have been hearing about how owners of those these dolls are going missing. I was just discussing it with Detective Matayoshi. Super Ultra True Puppets and living dolls made in the images of people's dream girls. I guess they sound like they could be related, but are you sure there's really a connection? That's a tough part to prove. Thank you, JT, for the follow. To make dolls that look so similar to how you two really are, it'd take having pretty specific data on your bodies. Well, like an avatar? Like the data we put on Eden all the time? I imagine getting your hands on something like that isn't exactly easy. Actually, I have no idea how they might manage to pull it off. There's an LDC machine in an arcade in Akihabara that I think might be suspicious. LDC? You don't mean lustful dream chicks, do you? Oh god, this sounds horrible. They're certainly not one for subtlety, if that's the case. No, no, they are not. No, no, not that. I mean, Living Doll Club. That's what LDC stands for. Right, it's a machine that scans all of your body and makes a 3D printed figure of it. Really? Our data could have somehow leaked out of that, I guess. Hmm, I definitely can't deny the possibility. Then our next step is clear. We need to head straight to Akitabala and gather info on this Living Doll Club machine. That'll be your job, Ollis. As for me, I'll see if I can dig up anything else regarding the Perfect Girl Project. You got the keyword, Living Doll Club. Time to go investigate then, eh? What an interesting world we live in. When it's correct, not bad! <laughs> I had to guess because I hadn't seen one yet. I thought maybe it was stand up. <sighs> it's so safe here. Sure, Gold Gardramon. Don't relax. <laughs> I knew you'd work harder at the farm. <laughs> Akihabara is. Let's get on the way. It's a bit creepy stealing off, like, girls' information. Do they actually exist in Japan? Like, machines that 3D print you? Step into a meat machine, get your little, like, 3D printed you? Just sounds really weird. <laughs> And you could paint yourself like some kind of like Warhammer or something figurey later on. Well, 
Well then, let's ask you. Uh, you, you want to talk to me? Why? What is that? Well, unstable nerd, I need to know about the Living Doll Club. Ah, Living Doll Club, is it? For a long time, there's this huge ad campaign about how it used the latest in 3D tech and whatnot. Oh, what? That was a dip. There was a Living Doll Club in the arcade down the way, wasn't there? It's... Sega's fault. I knew it. But what, 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 what are you? I mean, going up to people you don't know and talking to them, your Christmas that must be astronomical, yeah. We found the culprit. Sega. You there? I can tell from your body language you're frustrated and unhappy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I know it's a blue, but I bet you're in a beautiful woman, aren't you? I'll have you know that I sell top-notch dolls of only the prettiest girls. Maybe you've heard of them. They're called Super Ultra True Puppets. My salesman voice. If you want, I can let you have one for cheap. Go ahead, check this one out for yourself. I mean, I could use it as a kickboxing step. No, no, no. Granted, this one's an ugly one. <laughs> this game's not very nice to ladies, is it? Granted, this one's an ugly one that was made as an experiment and hasn't sold well. But you understand how real my dolls look now, right? Nor am I, I guess. Well, if you're interested in having one of these for yourself now, I've got something even better. But it's a top secret service. Nobody can know. <laughs> Let me ask you, how are you doing health-wise? Uh, best I've ever been. I don't feel my organs. I don't have a heartbeat. <laughs> really here, really. Even if you weren't 100% perfect, you'd probably still be fine. I bet you're bored of how your day-to-day -day life is going. Wouldn't you love to just throw it all away and spend it with the girl of your dreams? Doesn't that sound fantastic? Because of the perfect girl project, I can offer you exactly that. With a perfect girl product, you can have your ideal girl recreated and sent straight to your room as a living, breathing human being. There's just one condition you have to abide by if you use this service. Just one condition, and you can be free from the team you've lived with up until now. <laughs> I bet you're wondering just what that condition actually is. I understand that's a fair question to ask. Tell you what, I'll let you in on that condition, free of charge. That one condition is that once your dream girl has been sent to your room, you can never leave it for the rest of your life. Simple, right? Oh, you'd have to worry about survival. The girls take care of that for you. So what do you think? Not a bad deal, right? That's okay. Take all the time you need to think. Once you know you want one, just get in touch and I'll make it happen. <laughs> right now, I think I'll just go check out the LDC machine at the arcade. The Big Girl Project is a top secret service provided by Jorogumo Co. Limited. If you're interested, just come talk to me. <laughs> yes. How's your investigation the LDC machine coming along? Ah, so you're just about to get started on it. Oh, you encountered a suspicious man out by the LDC machine. That's good timing, because I'm detecting the faint digital noise signature close to where you're standing. I'm going to take a close look at that arcade machine. I bet you'll find some clues about how these super ultra true puppets are being made. As usual, this case is starting to take some weird turns, so be ready for anything in there. It's like a connect jump into the LDC unit. Sure, no one gets scanned. Ha! We're after tying up those disappearances, we'd have some creeper stalker too. He was squawking about being tricked by a flower lady, but scammers like that are threats to women to everyone. I locked him up, no question asked. Good job there, Daddy. Well, no, when you come to me in my shop, I'm not going to want to hold hands. Not with you. I'm just looking around. Seeing if... Nope. I've talked to that guy before. Right, let's connect jump inside. And find out what's going on. Come with me, dragons! We have a job to do. Memory up! Oh. Babies! Beat up the babies! No. <laughs> oh.
Das ist wie meme. Poor Punimon. When the hell this goes to the female amateur? Probably a lot worse. Probably you just get straight up kidnapped. Wouldn't surprise me anyway. Wait, this is someone we've been before? How's that already open? Is this someone? Oh, it must be. So that's why the Digimon are so low level too. This is a prior digital space where we've looted some of the stuff, but not we've, obviously we couldn't go there. Help! <laughs> I'm stuck in a treasure chest. There's another treasure chest over there. Surprising no Renamon baby unless I missed it. No, I don't think there is a single Renamon baby. Based on the fact that I think they've only just got a limited amount of babies because they want you to go up a tree and there's only a certain amount of Digimon. So if they had every baby Digimon that you had to get to then go down the Digimon's line, it would be a bit... All of a sudden, it'd be a bit convoluted and you wouldn't be able to go over too much and, you know. It becomes a bit more Pokemon-esque, doesn't it? So, that's why they haven't done that. I understand that. In boost times three. Coromon and Sunamon. Let's stand a chance. Especially when we combo together. They've obviously just got it to a few babies that then spring off from everything and can evolve into everything following patch. Which makes sense. Get out of here, babies! Sounds like he's eating an apple. Is that what he's carrying? Fruit. He just really likes fruit and won't let it go. Are you even our target? Yes, you are. The first movie villain Digimon, isn't it? For some reason, I'm like he's a big bad. Pretty, but pretty better save. Pretty better save. Isn't that for the movie? Yes. Hello. I take people's data, make dolls from it. Lots and lots of dolls. Dolls are still souls. Then people become dolls. The dolls are lifelike. The people are death-like. Huh? Who? What are you? Any interference must be punished. Any interference must be punished. It's a free type, isn't it? Ah, I'm being shot. My defense is gone. Right, time to go to work. Let's use legendary dragon blade. You can Wow. Int penetrating. Everyone, use your special attacks. Well, we knocked him out in the blink of an eye. Gaia Element 3 has been learned by Mega Cabotarimon. Which is what? Better version of that, by the way. Media Fall 2 has been learned by Metal Greymon. And nothing else for anyone else at the moment. Gallimon is one level away from being Angewomon. There's something on the ground. A mysterious URL. Did, did you did you 
to just come out 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 of out of the the LDC machine. Y you're not with the cops or anything, are you? I who? I'm a cyber. I'm the cop's secret weapon. Oh, I didn't realize that was who I was hitting at. I must not be on top of things like I used to be. Well, I made a good amount of money into this. Maybe it's time to call it good enough for now. Don't bother trying to come after me. This is one thing I'm still good at. It's running away. See ya. Bye then. So the perpetrators behind this case are probably that salesman you met and a Digimon working together. It's unfortunately got away, but we'll live. As we suspected, those two probably used that LDC unit to gather up girls' data and then used it to make super old shoe puppets. Sorry, can't help it. Then does that mean you guys checked out the LDC unit in Akiba? That probably means you have a good idea of who's behind our dolls then, right? I get too excited. We didn't arrest the guy, but we've got him cornered. I doubt he'll try to pull something like this again anytime soon. But the question still remains as to what's become of the perfect girl project now. Hmm. At the very least, we know each doll's looks are derived from a real person. The doll's realism is then used to help sway potential candidates to join the project. But what is the perfect girl project even really about in the first place? I think Detective Kuremi mentioned that people who are a part of it have been disappearing, right? Indeed, Ollie's actually picked up some rather useful information about what's required of anybody who does join the project. M what is it? Anybody who has their dream girl sent to their room could never leave it, ever. I'm sure I don't need to explain why that's probably a bad deal. Oh, what's this? My, it's a URL left at the scene of the crime. This might come in handy, Ollis. I want you to go to that URL and check it out. And don't worry about going too deep inside. We don't know what you'll find in there. It's very possible we could be dealing with something extremely dark and sinister. Dark and sinister? We're talking as grim as the stuff you look at for fun in your club. Maybe even more so. Whatever's on the other side, it's not going to be pretty by any means. Bloop. No matter what, I'm going. I to say, it's not like I can really get that deep. Huh? Who are you? A cyber sleuth. <laughs> Man, this place sure is getting crowded now. Is this my room? Yeah, of course it is. What's this about being inside Eden? <laughs> Stop joking around. This is clearly the real world. How can I be in cyberspace? Who are all these girls around me? They're my dream girls. My dream girls is pure, pristine dolls. Yep, this has all been made possible thanks to the Perfect Girl Project. You really know your stuff. As promised in exchange for these dolls, I've stayed locked up inside my room. Life with these girls is the best. I can be happier. It's a care of everything I need. Really, I don't see any reason to ever leave this place anyway. It's perfect here. But this really is inside Eden. <laughs> Cut it out already with that, man. Are you sure you're not the only one who's actually dreaming right now? Huh. All right, then. So that URL led you to one of the victims of the Perfect Girl Project. Victim? What do you mean? Remember, to join the project, you have to stay holed up inside your room for the rest of your life. But in reality, he was lured into Eden, and now he's lived with those girls there while he's actually unconscious. But then that means... Right, the so-called life he's leading with those girls in cyberspace is just one big lie. The whole thing's just a sad scam. Anyone who falls prey for it is unwittingly imprisoning themselves for life inside cyberspace, thinking they've never left the real world at all. That makes sense. It also makes sense if you think about the name of the company behind it. Jolo Gumo. Jolo Gumo is a mythical spider who appears as a beautiful woman to attract men to a waterfall. They plunge in for her and die at her hands. Oh, I knew if there was anyone here who'd know about this, it'd be you, mate. You really know your occult history. Okay, so I get all that, but why go to the trouble of locking victims up in their room and then imprisoning them in cyberspace? If somebody's stuck inside Eden thinking they're still in the real world and don't log out, then... All stuff inside the locked rooms are living bodies, which could be used for any number of things. Like, like what? According to police investigation, the victims' bodies are carried off by a third party and taken overseas to foreign countries. What? Why would anyone do that? A lot of the applicants are young and healthy. 
There are who knows how many people around the globe who'd want such fresh bodies. That, that's so horrible. We don't know for sure that it's anything along those lines. It's just a theory right now. And the scariest one I can think up right now. Oh, just thinking about it gives me real goosebumps. Anyway, about that guy your assistant met a little while ago. What do you think has happened to him? It's hard to know for certain. On the one hand, his body might already be lost forever. But on the other hand, we might still have a shot at saving him. Might as well see if we can still call out to him. But we should be prepared for the worst. Hmm? What's this? Please, you need to log out. Is this another one of that kid's pranks? How many times do I have to tell you, buddy? I'm the real world. I couldn't log out even if I wanted to. You must be pretty clueless if you think this could possibly be inside Eden. <laughs> I mean, what's the harm in trying? Well, it couldn't hurt to try, indeed. I mean, there's no way it'll work. That's not how it works in the real world. I mean, come on! Huh? What am I... What am I seeing here? I don't get it. Error. Nowhere to log out. So he's dead. This game takes some... Oddly dark turns, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> right then. I love humans of scary personalities, is that true? Yes, yes, people do this kind of stuff that we just investigated. Oh my god. <laughs> 10 plus game, everyone. Is that what actually is the. <laughs> 12. Ah, uh, Digimon. Knows how to be dark, doesn't it? Quest complete. The line between dreams and reality can be murky. That's why I can't dismiss the possibility outright. Who are we to say we don't live in a dream? What they do with his body, we'll never know. They said Mariyoshi says Arada's been seen in Shinjuku a lot. What's he been up to? Oh, well, let's find out! Let's go. Let's try and cheer ourselves up now, okay? What do you say it was? Shinjuku, yeah? Shibuya? I don't remember now. Arada! What is going on, my friend? Uh, I want that treasure chest back where we were before. I'm very upset about missing it. Hey, what are you doing around here? You're telling me the great cyber sleuth is just walking around looking for a job. <laughs> just joking with you. You really do. If you're free, do you want to hang out? Actually, this written challenge just came from, by, from some mysterious guy. It says, in my hand I'm holding a very rare out of print edition of the comic. Back when delete. If you want it, accept the challenge. Basically, this is a rare comic contest. What do you think? Interesting, right? We should do it together. I know, I know. I sent it to Kyoko as an official request. If she finds out we're slacking off work to go mess around, Kyoko's gonna explode. Alright then, back to Kyoko then. Unless it's official request, like I have to pay Kyoko to go hang out with my friend. What? My friend has to pay to hang out with me? As long as I'm getting some hand-me-down from that, I'm okay with that situation. <laughs> All good. Basically, to the chat as well, like, I know, like, Digimon Tame is pretty dark. Generally, every series has some kind of dark theming at some point. And usually, like, risk to human life and somewhat, you could say, yeah, death as well. Like, there's some serious stuff usually goes on in the latter part of most of the seasons. So, yeah, 
Digimon... It's kind of good for that, to be fair. I would say. A rare comic collection, difficulty two. A mysterious man has issued a challenge. A fight with rare comics at stake. Cyber Stoop, I need your help for a farm expansion plugin. Let's go get it. In the Eden community area. We're meeting up with Arata. Oh, we got that. Number two area, eh? Alright, right, Just gonna look around and see if anyone's like new or out of place. Nope. Oh, you're here last. You're late. Hey, is this your friend? Probably your last friend. Uh, uh, um, uh, that. I mean, this. This is, uh,. Okay, so it's the two of you who are doing the rare comic contest this time. Okay then, do your best. Well, see ya. Oh, right, so I was telling you about the written challenge from the suspicious guy, right? That suspicious guy is a rare comic collector. He brings participants in with the promise of rare comics and then gets them to answer fan questions he comes up with. All over Eden, there are contest organizers, so-called game masters, who ask the questions everyone has to answer. The way it works is that the first one to reach the rare comic collector will be presented with one of his best comics. You can add just buy a rare comic from the collector. Man, what I wouldn't do to get that rare comic. I'm literally salivating in the very fort. So you're fixing the game, aren't you? You've got to do it. You've got to win. We need to get our hands on that rare comic. Uh, you want to know what back one delete is? It's a long story, but a good one. Uh, no way! Back one delete, or back a deli, is set in the turn of the century dystopia. Back one, or Bubba Garden, is the scene of a wild hero and heroine adventure. The hero is Shokyo Haku. He's the head of the student council, a brilliant genius and a senior at a private school called St. Arrays. Not just that, but he's an incredible hacker. Haku Soku Delete. He's vowed never to kill. He destroys evil hackers, all in the name of justice. At the start of the series, he's a detective who can use hacking, but... Huh? Are you even listening to me? Well, I did tell you it was a long story. Well, anyway, back on Delete is now out of print. It's an amazing chance to get the final volume of the comic, which is extremely rare. Huh? Why is it out of print? Well, that's a long story. Want to hear it? This is what I get for accepting your case. Well, it's just no reaction. From when it was published, harmful hackers started to pop up in Eden, and people feared the comic was to blame. Believe it or not, they suspect the author of being a hacker himself, and he was arrested. After that, it was recalled and went out of print. It was always just a minor comic with a few fans. Shop stopped stocking it three days before the arrest, making it an extremely rare comic. Now, you can get the contents of the comic on the web, but nothing beats the real deal. Hey, are you really listening to me? Oh, you want to know who this suspicious guy we should have written challenges? Well, basically, um, you see, I, uh, I guess nobody really knows, to be honest. Okay, so this is the starting point. The Game Master must be around here somewhere. Let's find the first Game Master and solve the first puzzle. Well, time to search everywhere for the Games Masters, but it seems the first Games Master was here. You're also a participant in the contest, right? Okay, so answer the following question. Question! Uh, in which frame of which volume of the comic series did the main character's rich rival, Ichinosuke Ginda, first appear? That was a difficult question for you. It's an easy one for me. The answer is volume 43, frame 2, right? In the scene where General Asimov brings him to the classroom. What? That wasn't even an answer. Ah, <laughs> correct! This was just a beginner level question. Next, please go to the entrance of Eden. You'll be asked another question by the next Game Master. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The joy I'm sensationaling. Oh! Can't possibly get it right. If only it was a quiz I could actually participate in. Okay, the second game master should be around this summer. Let's look for him and answer the next question. Alright, I guess I'm asking you next. Can I ask you from this side? <laughs> no. Are you the game master? Yeah, okay then. Let's get started. 
Question! In Back on the Leap, what is the name of the pet rabbit that belongs to Rodrigo, the main character's Japanese Brazilian next door neighbor? It's. Mrs. Ears. The dog was called John, the cat was called Polish, and the monkey was called Ekaterina. Uh, really? Is it Pionkichi? Oh, that's amazing. Correct! So far, you've been able to answer all the questions easily. Just what I expect from you, Rada. <laughs> Let's go to the Eden community area. There you'll be asked the final question by the next game master. First one who answered the question correctly will be given the rare comic. Okay, try your best and good luck. <laughs> so yeah, he's tried to fix the game using us. I mean, it's obviously working. I need to read this. I need to remember the... See, this is this thing that always gets me, how... Proper fan people, because I'm, I'm never like trivia buff for anything, can remember all of this details because they can remember stuff like the fourth pet of the fifth member of the family. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> also, why do you know this? The top tier game master should be around here somewhere. Let's look for him and answer the next question. Why are we even trying? It's because it's supposed to be a competition. We're not actually trying. It's supposed to be a competition between two people that aren't friends. But he's basically found someone he can't lose to. I think that's what's going on. You're the top tier game master, right? Precisely. You finally made it yet. Of course it would be you, Arata. So, shall we get to the final question? Question. The main character in background delete Shokyo Haku went to a school by the name of... <laughs> that's an easy one. It's called Stena Ray's Private High School, right? However... I'm afraid I need the exact name and address of the school. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Which is it? Is it Akebono710, Shinonome28, or Sawaragi125? We'll go for the middle option. Uh-oh, sorry, wrong answer. Um, hmm, which one is it? Oh, yeah, I think it came up in volume 18. It's seen with the school entry application acceptance. Hmm. Ah, damn it. Come on, I know this. I don't remember. Hey, Alice, can you go figure it out? If you go ask some comic book nerds around the Broadway you used to bookstore, they'll probably know. Please. What? You go and ask some comic book nerds around the third floor. Sure, I'll go ask some comic book nerds the answer, even though I'm not sure how this should work. Anyone else a bit more confused by this quest than anything else? It's that thing as well. We've got to do the quest to actually continue things on. It's not even... See, the side quests in this game aren't even side quests, when you think about it. They're not. Damn it. What back. You have to do them. Right. What now? Well, we want to know the address of St. Array's, manga nerd. Huh? St. Array's High School's address? Is that you? Why are you asking me this out of the blue? St. Array's High School? You mean the one that the main character from Backroom Delete went to? Well, we, well, well, you know, even though I'm an expert at everything to do with comics, when you ask me, I know a lot of that. Haha, <laughs> nah, that's an easy one. St. Array's High School is Kingston 5-8. But why are you asking? What? A rare comic contest. If you can answer the question, you get a copy of the legendary final volume of Bacadelli. What? No freaking way. Are you freaking kidding me? you got to tell me about it. No, quick, run. Back to back to Eden. Before he can compete. No, I went the wrong way. Get down and out there. Do you know the dark, dark Vader? <laughs> Not even Darth Vader. And did you know that the snow speeders work with uh, repulsive lift engine technology in Star Wars? Huh? Stuff like that. I learned that from Rogue Squadron. Right, let's get back to Eden. It was Kingston 5-8.
Not that I think it's actually going to ask me again. Oh yeah, that's it. It's a Kingston address, but I can't remember the number. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up and answer already. Someone else will win the rare comic. No! Oh, Wallace, how'd it go? Do you know the answer? That's it. Kingston 5-8. That's it exactly. Congratulations. That's the right answer. Yes, I did it. Ollis, thank you so much. That's it. You've answered all the questions. Please go to the Eden Free Area now. If you get it there first, the comic will be yours. Yeah, Ollis, go me. The mysterious guy who organized this contest seems to be in the Eden Free Area. Quick, let's go. Sure, that I will. Quick, we need to run. Ah! I was about to say, where is the area? <laughs> it's number five. <gasps> They're programming now. Well, this place looks interesting. The reason Kowloon is considered so dangerous is that the hackers there use specialized programs. In the digital world, the programs manifest in three dimensions so they can directly interact with targets. You find this very appealing. Ah, yes, them youth. How dare they like things. What's this going on in here? I've got an area set for Cerberus to have posh parties on top level. Just day in, day out, party time up there. A loser like me can't even get close. I mean, I'm not sure. Is a digital party good? Skull Satamon Medal. I mean, you don't get to taste the stuff, right? At least you don't get tired when you dance in that light out, though. Wait, I need to do some shape... Match game. Hey, Arla. Oh, so close. Unfortunately, someone else got here before you. You're the second one here, Arla. N no, really. Yes, yeah, so it's really just a split second difference, actually. Oh, I can't believe it. I tried so hard. I tied so hard, in fact. Well, what can you do? It was fun. So I guess it's not a total loss. A nice way to pass the time. Oh, well, then, Arla, maybe we should hold another rare comic contest in the future. Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Next time, I'm the organizer. Huh. Oh, yeah. I know this guy. Oh, I said he was suspicious looking. Uh, no. I never said that. Well, I think it spices things up a bit, calling him suspicious and all that. Actually, I do that all the time with my friends. This guy is, well, sort of my friend or whatever. What, what is it? Is something wrong? Uh, Arana, you're such a nerd. Don't say that. That's not true at all. Well, even so, it was fun, right? You should take part next time, too. I don't even do any answer. <laughs> what? I did take part. Back when Delete, a comic about hackers having engaged, having engaging in battles with each other. Yeah, sure. It's a comic for people like him who have a kind of sickness. Still a rare comic contest amongst friends. I wonder why humans would bother putting so much energy in something so utterly fruitless. They really have a lot of time on their hands. Choco just slapping him down. Job done. We've got another expansion plugin and my sleuth rank went up. We are now a good cyber sleuth. Hooray! Adequate. People are never ending sorts of surprises. I never pictured a rat as a type to hang around a taco crowds myself. Something's happening to our best music again. Sorry to keep you waiting. Some time to do a little prep work. That's fine. I'm really looking forward to seeing your Kamishiro infiltration plan. Excuse me, but what did you need from me? Ah, Yuko Kamishiro. Sorry to have called you here out of the blue. So we have the Cyber Sleuth's connection jump, my hacking skills, and your connections. My plan involves using all three of these in concert for the first time. Connection jump? Oh, you don't know about that? Explain to Wallace. Yeah, I just revealed that you're not a real boy. Half cyber body? Is that even possible? 100% cyber body, actually. I see. 
I think I understand that. That's why you've been able to move about so mysteriously at times. So then you have Eden Syndrome as well. No, it's nothing. I'm sorry for interrupting. Please continue. I'll explain the main thrust of the strategy now. Our target today is the secret database on Kamishiro's Avalon server. Beyond that is a top secret area known as the Secret Room. The Secret Room? Yeah, Kamishiro's most confidential area. In other words, the location of the folder for every Kamishiro CEO, including Kishibi. Once that folder is open, you all can dive into Kamishiro's confidential database. Man, this detective agency is turning up as scary than any hacker team I know. I'll take that as a compliment. Yet, that operation still ended with nothing to show for it. Now I get it. You've got your eyes on an even deeper level. That's the plan. Using connection jump, we can get in as far as the confidential database. First, we use our Kamishiro connections to get its invitations to the preview event at Kamishiro HQ. The Kishibi, the CEO of Kamishiro, mentioned it, right? It's a preview of the big update for Eden. We'll have Olive infiltrate the confidential database from a terminal. Once in, send an invitation URL for the database to me, and then I'll be able to get in as well. Then you'll access the secret room, correct? Yeah. Once we have the data kept there, we should be able to solve this whole thing, including figuring out Suedo's true motives. For that, we're going to need to tap your connections once again, Yuko. The passcode that gets us into the secret room changes every day, right? The only one who knows the passcode is Kishibi. We need you to get close to her. She's the only one of us who can. Actually, I think you'd have a good shot at Arada, seeming I, you know, you know, things. You want me to steal the passcode from her? Yeah, well, that's the plan. Once we're in the top secret area, I'll override the security so we can communicate with Kyoko. You can tell us the passcode by Kyoko. Hmm? What is it? Don't tell me you suddenly come down with a case of cold feet. No, that won't be an issue. But I do have one request. My father? Satoru Kamishiro. His notes and research there should still be in the secret room. Could you get also get those for me? I'm sure the truth about my father's suicide and info related to the Eden Syndrome is in there. I see. We were certainly unable to find anything conclusive last time. If it's anywhere, it'll probably be in the secret room. Okay, I'm done with that. It won't make the mission any harder, anyway. Well, we don't know if the data is even there to begin with, but... You're right. There's one other possible data storage site. The Valhalla server, which is the core for Eden's quantum processing and control. Our server's got to have all of Eden's history recorded on it, dating back to the very beginning. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on a second! The Valhalla server? I'm oh, sure, go right ahead and name drop that like it's nothing, why don't you? Even the most legendary of hackers couldn't hope to get close to that thing. It's got the toughest security in the world, all in one place! Oh, a million defeat already? That's not like you. What? Did you have a bad experience there? Who asked you? It doesn't matter. The server is no go. Not something we could just hack into. But if a Digimon program was used for the hacking, there might be a way. 
解しきれない。何だって What did you say? いいえ、nothing。とにかく、スキャンボーズを全部見つけたら、あすかに、ヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァルハラスーヴァ I saw there is two of them. He who runs after two hairs will catch neither. That's fine with me. Okay then. Let's get this mission started. So begins chapter 9 our supposed master plan. Of course, we'll be continuing this. Next time. <laughs> But let's just check the digi line. Trivia, which era did Hideyoshi to Toyotomi become ruler of Japan, huh? I'll say the Meiji period? <laughs> It's probably not. <laughs> let's see if I can win again. I don't know. But we're going to stop for now and continue on with this for our next session. Our board is looking full of so many flyers. Chapter 9. How far are we? That is the real question. As we have ultimate Digimon aplenty now, and we want to Digivolve even more by getting ourselves some more memory. Hopefully, we'll come across them in our next chapter. Until then, and until next time, I'll see you guys for more then. Bye bye.